Come on, Samora, don't hide him. Yeah, me tell you. Yes, my people, like and share to my channel and subscribe to see the next video coming out and hit the icon bell. See in? You see the next video while it come out. See in? Subscribe button. Right, so Yeah, man. Just press it. Yeah, man. Like and share. Watch your views. More and some more views. Give me some more views. See in? Yes, my people. Respect our manners. Oh, Raja, leave alone. No, nothing about that delivery. Let's come got them. Ah. I'm a I'm a to miss you. Come on, Gregory. Yeah, Playing for Zing Bagwe. Come on, Gregory, man. What that? Good catch by Nado. Good catch by Nado. Nice me, I'm the one that type of nice that I'm peep. The fan hand, the lick pan sitting there, so I'm going inside there. Brilliant shot by Carlos. Go past the stand. I'm not in the plug in, too, something in the plug in. But the fan did turn the lick pan in, something there. Don't know who. Brilliant shot by Carlos. Leave. Samara run to go to Raji. Oh, you know, that's Raji flicks Samara and he's gone for four. Oh, God. Then him know that. Come on, Bongo Charlie. Ah, it. So the score is 22 for one. Yo, send him on my ball, go on. 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 Send him on my ball, go
So we have the <laughs> Carlos has just come to the crease and he's quickly 22. That's a very fast start by Gibraltar. I think based on the condition of the pitch today, we're looking at 200 plus totals. Yeah, yeah, you are. So the height side has carried out some shopping in the transfer window, which will be closed next week. And now we have some more steam in it. And that was a quick delivery. So the transfer so far, we have Super Gelding. And that was a full length delivery. Also have Ethan free transfer. Run, man, run! And that was a quick single. I think the batsman need to walk with the bowler. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So here we have Charlie into ball to Carlos and that ball is slash over the score like boundary for four. That was a brilliant shot. The Rasta strain on to the pads. So here we have in house today we have live coverage by Everslick Media. So we have the long pan pace into ball too. Roger, and that's a good delivery outside the half stump. So Roger is showing good patience. Sometimes that is very important in a partnership. So once again, the Rasta, full delivery. Yes, no, no, man. Yeah. And I think that's bad bowling by, by Gadel because Carlos is very strong through the leg side. So this is smart bowling by Gadel. Decide to change the angle coming around the wicket to restrict the shots through the leg side. So once again we have the long pan this through the pace. Yes. Oh and that's a beautiful long drive. And we have the super gelding. <laughs> Good feeling. And that's good feeling by Siva Siv slash Bimbo. Oh, 
papa meta you know papa and that was a good delivery i think that's what that was a wrong shot by rajay that ball needs to go back straight over the bowler's head so here we have samora steaming into carlos and that was a quick delivery come on charlie let me it i think i chip chip samora seems to have a little bit of steam today So, Samora coming from the cow past the head. Oh, and that's a beautiful shot. We have an extra cover for four. For six. For six. Yes, Joe. Oh, Samora. Oh, and that's a beautiful delivery. Just back of a length with a little bit of movement away. Seems like Carlos is in a good mood today. I know a lot of the fans are saying that Roger is not doing much, but I think he's batting smart. It's important to build a partnership. And we have Gadel into ball to Roger. And that's another good delivery. So we have Samora. Oh, and that's a scare. And let's see if Bimbe is going to take that one. I think that was poor batting by Carlos. That ball wasn't there for that shot. After scoring, that white pants that he's wearing now. He used it to score about seven centuries in other leagues across Chilani. But this is tennis ball cricket. Let's see if he can show his leather ball cricket form in the tennis cricket competition. So I'm sure Samora would want to welcome him to the crease. And here is Samora, into ball to 12. And that was a quick delivery. Yes, sir. So based on the information that we get about the transfer of 12 to Gibraltar, 70 million dollar was the fee and he's clean ball so Roger that's the end of Roger come on Roman so I'm sure the fans want to see what 12 have and some are into ball to 12. Yes. Oh, that's a brilliant delivery. Good forward defensive strokes. This man of about 20 something century in leather ball cricket. <laughs> Come on, Rome, some six. This is very, very, very experienced bowling by Gadel. That angle coming from around the wicket to the right hand has very good decision. That was a very good delivery. That ball fly off the inside edge and Romeo is off the mark. I think Gibraltar need a good partnership from this pair. Oh, and that's a brilliant delivery. Romeo! No, watch your game! Brilliant delivery from Gadel. No, watch your game! Using the angle to beat 12 outside the half stump. Yeah? Oh. And I think Samora <laughs> seems like he can see with McGillan of the long pan rum <laughs> because he's bowling with good pace today. Hmm. Once again, Samora, I wonder if he's going to test him with the sharp delivery. Come on, stop by the ball from the man, man. <laughs> <laughs> so the score is 30 million. My apology, it's 39 for 3. We have Gregory, who was dismissed for 4. Rajay for 1. 
And the hard hitting Carlos for 33, who I think gave away his wicket. So now we have an experienced duo at the crease. And 12 seems to be struggling so far, struggling to get the ball off the square, despite Gibraltar paying $70 million for his services. Oh, and that's a vicious delivery by Samoa. Based on the conversation I heard before the Gibraltar team reached, <coughs> Samoa plan to Romeo was the sharp delivery at the throat. So let's see, what is the delivery now? Oh, and that's another good delivery. And that was well played. I seems to be building the pressure. I think one good way to release the pressure is rotating the strikes. Come on, Romy! Um, I think Romeo problem is he's not walking with the bowler, so he's always flat footed. Now watch your game, man. Let's see if Samora is gonna attack the throat again with another vicious sharp ball. Mm -hmm. And this time it was a pitched up delivery. Half volley on the pads that should be dispatched to mid wicket. <laughs> so here we have Samora once again. Oh, that's a vicious bouncer. This is what we want to see. So, the very experienced and expensive 12 is still a knot. Just a note, all the new players have made ducks on this pitch. Let's see if 12 is going to break that. Yes. And that's beautifully caught. And as I said before, irrespective of the the league or the stats that you have in the past, once you come here, you'll make a ducks on the first day. And that was a beautiful batting lineup. <laughs> come on, Rasta! Come on, Rasta! Come on, Rasta! Come on, Rasta! Come on, Come on, Rasta! 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 Come on, to be honest, this is good bowling by Samora. This is the best I've seen him bowl in a while. I'm wondering if it's because we don't have a lot of fans. But I'm sure in another 20 minutes or so, the fans will start to roll in. So once again, Samora into ball to Romeo. It seems like he pulled a fat right there. <laughs> so Gibraltar is stuck on 39 for 4. Wow. Carlos made 33 from the 39. Oh, and that's a beautiful shot. Very good shot by Romeo. The feel on the boundary seems like he's dealing with a hot egg. <laughs> So here we have the Rasta man. Come on, Rasta. And I must warn you that Rasta will not budge to the sharp deliveries. He's waiting for the ball into his slots. <laughs> so here we go. It's Rasgadel into the Gibraltar skipper. Oh, and that's a brilliant shot. Over wide, mid wicket for six. That's a brilliant shot. Half valley and leg stump. And Romeo. Show the kick. 
And that was poor by Samora, very, very poor. He had all the time in the world to make that run out. And that was poor running by Rasta because that was a simple single. But he's sitting on his butt. Season. So we have our top supporter, Mr. Waki, strolling in. Come on, Romy. Come on, Romy. So the height skipper, Robbie. Robbie no says he team make them can't catch him. Oh, and that's a good length. I think that length is very difficult to play unless you have a, a very good technique. So once again we have gathered into ball to Romeo. Oh, and that's a vicious shot. That's a massive hit. Last one, down of a school. Into the wild side stands for six. It's important to note that Romeo is very strong with the ball that are full pitched. You have to bowl back off a length or into the into this his neck. <laughs> so now we have knee cup on the attack. Knee cup into ball to Romy. Dylan, take the ball out, attack. Yes, Rasta! Yeah, watch the ball. Hey, the the watch the ball. Come on, Rasta, why not? So we have Laru here from Redis. Laru who was sold for two pounds of yam. <laughs> and based on the news that I'm getting, one pound of that yam was spoiled. I think that was a good delivery. Very good delivery by Samoa. Anybody done it now? Ruby beaten outside the half stump once again to a back of a lane delivery. Get it early, early. So just to note that we have the top tone sports club bar. We have water and everything on on sale. So it's once again summer into ball to Romy. And that's into the air. <laughs> and it seems like Robbie, the captain of outside, put um, sing the Bible into his players' hands. So once again, some more into both the Rasta. Good delivery. Kicked off the pitch. It's a good thing the beard of Rasta is not too tall. So here we have Nico to Romy. Yeah, and Rasta is still sleeping on his butt. It seems like he's gonna be run out today. So the score is 57 for 4. Samora up to bow to Rasta. And it seems like Samora is running out of steam. Oh, 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 o
over the square leg boundary for six. As they continue to bowl to the strength of the Gibraltar skipper. And one thing I'm sure about, Reno will capitalize. And now we have Nico into bowl to Reno again. Oh, and that was hedged away into the boundary for another four. And Hyde, Hyde is showing their weakness. They have two good open bowlers. So the score is 67 for four. 67 for four. Not bad. Not bad. If Chris Gale bought that, he wants 50, you know? He's not going good, you know? Are you not asking about Chris Gale? No, you. Are you Chris Gale? What? 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 So here we have Samara into both the Rasta. Yes. And that's a good show. Yo. Oh, yeah. That's a big man. Yeah, that's a ball you got to live the match of time on the And it seems like Rasta hit that ball about 90 miles an hour. Seems to hinge the Gibraltar pace. Rasta, Rasta, why Rasta? Why are Rasta? Why are you doing Rasta? Why are you doing Rasta? Why are you doing Rasta? Why are you so Gibraltar is back on track. They're now 67 for four. I think they need a total of 160 plus to make this game competitive. Because the last time these team played, Hyde captain Robbie and Bimbo put on a hundred plus open stand. But I think today will be different because Gibraltar had made some key signings. So we have knee cup into ball to Reno. The Gibraltar bowling attack today, they have the very quick left arm pacer, Papa, who I'm sure will cast the high button, line up some trouble today. I think he's probably the second fastest bowler in the competition behind Chep Chep. But one thing for sure, despite Chep Chep being quick, oh, and that's a brilliant shot. And that one bounce, one bounce into the boundary for four. I think Ethan misjudged that. Ethan thought it would go all the way for six. Oh, brilliant shot. And I think, as I said, this high bowling of six week ban. And he's into both to Gibraltar skipper Romeo. Come on, Romeo. So the score is already 77 for four. Romeo quickly on to 36 runs. And Rasta frustrated in the bowling. That's a good partnership. Oh, and that's open the bat face away for four. All right, and that's good batting by Romeo. Oh, and that's a brilliant Yakalin delivery. Clean bold. I'm 
So, Holmes is at the crease. I saw someone brought a bottle of water to somewhere. I'm not sure if there's any steroids in it. So Super Gelding, back from his band, looking good so far, like he was training in the nets. Good delivery. So somewhere into ball to Holmes. For everyone, that's a brilliant shot delivery. And I think Holmes misjudged the length of that ball and almost swallowed it. No, my project one I am here. I am here. I am here. I am I am here. I am I am here. 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 Hmm? So it's Samora into ball to Holmes again. And that's a loose delivery down the leg side. Remember we have the Top Town Sports Club bar. It's important we support the bar as we continue to keep this competition going. Give us spin the That's another brilliant shot. That one was into the slot and slam away for another six so that's now 46 for romeo it's important he bat right through the innings because we want to see a entertaining game because this high team so the score is now 87 for five Easy, easy. Oh, and that was a very good forward defensive shot. The only problem is it hit the chest instead of the bat. We could hear the vibration over here. So Stamaro bowling with some steam into ball to Holmes. And that's a good full length delivery. I think it's smart batting by Romeo. He's playing to his strengths. So that's good batting by, by Holmes. So Alex seems like he's lining up the, the ball now. <laughs> so here we have Samora into Alex again. And it seems like Samora is running out of steam. I can tell you about all these persons who born after 1990. <laughs> Their mind is very different. Anyway, back to the cricket. Now we have Super Gelding sporting a gold mohawk into ball to Romeo. As I said, I think the high team have a plan. And into the air. Oh, this is poor feeling. <laughs> obviously, obviously, this high team can't even catch COVID 19. Not even COVID 19. But this was poor batting by the Gibraltar skipper. Poor, poor batting by Romeo after being looking so good at the crease to play a shot like that. 
That's not good about it by the skipper, but this high team. Yes, my people. Like and share to my channel and subscribe to see the next video coming out and hit the icon bell. See? Let's see the next video where they come out. See? In? Subscribe button. Right, so Yeah, man. Just press it. Yeah, man. Like and share. Watch your views. More and some more views. Give me some more views. See? In? Yes, my people. Respect our manners. Because even Bimbo is one of the safest feelers in the entire parish. Dropping catches. I don't shot. Brilliant shot. Run So, um, I think, I think Gibraltar need to settle down here. They're not walking with the bowler. So it's 89 for 5. Oh. I think this Gibraltar team need to work on their running. And Hyde need to work on their catching. I think a puck. A case of Patek's would help the high feelers. <laughs> yes. Oh, and that's a brilliant shot. And that's 55, Romeo. I think it's a very good 50. Yes, Romy. He boy. had a rush of blood earlier. But it's important he bought two innings. Stay there, Romy. I should have chucked that there, man. David, give me a two point thing now. You know, since I go by, I go So, so Gibraltar seems like they are poised to make a double century total. <laughs> but I think it's important that the skipper back deep into the innings. Look on him first, look on him first. 
One more. I think that is a good good single. But Romy continues. Romy continues to have vacation on his butt. So he's always going to be struggling to run the singles. It's important to walk with the bowler. So we have the new left arm pace. He's Isla Hul Hack. <laughs> I'm not sure about the transfer fee for this player. We will speak to his agent, Siva Siv. 25 pence. 25 pence. So we have Isla Hul Hack into both Romeo. <laughs> You're tired. Go rest, man. Come, go rest. <laughs> no, but it's in there, so might as well. <laughs> oh, that's a brilliant shot. No, this is the way we know Alex Holmes plays. Hitting through the line. All the way for six. And this is what we want to see. So once we have again Ras Gadel into both the homes. Oh, and that's a beautiful delivery. Right at the so the score is 113 for 5, Gibraltar. And that's that was well played. I like this part of the cricket by Alex Holmes. It's important to rotate the strike. Romeo seems like he's on his last drip of energy. <laughs> so, all the talk about this new left arm pace from the high team, he's the whole hack. He so far is unable to go wicket to wicket. He's all over the shop. But here we have Gadel into ball to Romeo. And that's another two shot. Into the little bit boundary for four. We have Nick up on the boundary. Running with high knees, but was unable to cut that one off. I'm not wanting Canada, Kina, sir. Stop him, man. And that was good feeling. Good feeling by Basil. Normally. Come on, Basil, Dan. Normally, Basil would have to drink two Magnum before he does. <laughs> I'm not surprised about that catch. Eat and no job catch. So we have Inzeman who rock at the crease, the man with the biggest bat in the competition. Stroke rebel. Inza man has brought the biggest bat in the league, and that bat hasn't hit a bone just so far. I'm not sure if it has a hole in the middle. He dispatched that one into the US I stand for six. Sure, Before the start of the game, and I thought I think it will about 35 pounds. And the bat is about four feet tall. 
So once again, we have Ras Gadel into ball to Romy. And that's another good single. Good single. I still, I still think that Gibraltar need a score above 160 for this game to be competitive. Yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh, because you believe the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Stuogi, come on, Stuogi. So, will we see, will we see a swashbuckling innings from Inza Manula today? Zinzi Manula. Bravo, Kaka. He was signed for 25 million Jamaican. So far, he has played, what, four games? Oh, it seems that the delivery have a visa and it's away on its vacation over to the Copa assistant. It's now 131 for six. Gibraltar seems very motivated to get their first victory of the Stay there. Now, Stay there. Now I can see why Bimbo signed Isla because he's getting a good purchase off the pitch. And that's another muscle group. And Inzeman is saying that that while you're over there, just show the other one. Come on, Shogi. I'm here in the stands that. They need to run a tape on the bat of Inzeman in half. I'm wondering if it's illegal. <laughs> Bravo. 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 <laughs> Smelly, sniff out it. Choco, my friends. Choco. i i Gibraltar look on course for a 200 plus score because they still have Christopher Columbus in the pavilion. They have Ohm Senior, another swashbuckling batsman. Whoa! shot over wide long on for six. And I think we're going to move on for the LPs. It seems like the Ascensions on, on the cards. <laughs> so the score moves on to 149 for 6. So Hyde has decided to go back for the quick pace somewhere. So somewhere he to go to Inzaman. Oh, and this is smart but you now. Gibraltar deciding to put Hyde to the sword by rotating the strike in between hitting the big sixes. Oh, and that's a good delivery by Hills Isla. Getting his first wicket of the league so far. But I still believe this was... So we have Mr. Holmes at the crease now. And that's a good shot. The high feeling has been atrocious. 
You need to fix your break. I'm one ninety four. We need to fix your <laughs> We need to fix your break. I'm one ninety five. You yeah, see, they have the button to chase anything above two hundred. So they are not worried about the misfields and the jump catches. And that was a experience type of shot. Clip off the pads to score leg for a single. So it's now one fifty two for seven. Romeo is at 83, steering down a century. Very good. Bowling by Isla. Isla is now showing that he is worth the 25 million pounds. She said sorry. Chief. Oh. This would be the first century in the league here. Quite a few players has gotten into 70s and 80s. Romer is now on 83. Can he convert? Oh, and that was a super catch by the super girly. <laughs> so this is one person in the high team that you don't want to give a chance. If you look, if you look at the color of his mark, you will know that he's a super girly. So he'll take super catches. You need to run, Romeo. You're not a run. Bravo, look at you. Respect you, love ducks. So now we have Christopher Columbus at the crease. It's important that he. Yeah. yeah man. And that was a soft dismissal, very soft dismissal by Christopher. I saw Cricket come out, where you know This is the eighth wicket. It's a large wicket now. I love you, love so now we have the high team. So high chasing 152. So they need 153 to win. They have the skipper Rabia at the crease. And here comes Raje. And that loose ball in the net was smashed over wide. Fine leg for six. Oh, force, man. <laughs> we have live com we have live coverage by Hemastic Media, the resident video man, the Clarkson cricket team and the Kane side softball league. Can Gibraltar get their first victory? Well, here we go. It's Roger Hinchibo to Rabi. And that was a decent ball. It's important. It's important, Gibraltar. Get rid of Rabi Hurley. And here we have Ethan. One of the most patient batsmen you can ever find. So far, this is loose bowling by Carlos. Once again, Raji. Mm. 
acha que conta aí, não vai ganhar. É boa! Charlie, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. There's no way Gibraltar is going to survive bowling those lengths to Robbie. Very strong out the back foot. And that was. That was slap. Up to bowl to meet him. So the Gibraltar bowling looks very, very underwhelming. Bim. Carlos, anything edge catchy? So, Carlos into ball too. Come on, Carlos. Come on, Carlos. So, high chase in 152. It's Carlos to ball too. Ethan, and this is very poor bowling so far. Let's see if Gibraltar can get things right to make this game competitive. Or else, this, this 152 will be this man in a very short time. So, call us to go to Ethan. Cigarette, camera, cigarette. And that's a better delivery by Raji. So Rabbi's Rabbi last match he scored 63 runs. Put on a hundred and a hard with Bimbo. But today we see a new opening partnership with Hyde showing their future batsman Ethan at the top of the once again, Raje into ball to Rabi. And that spread and butter for Rabi into this final boundary for another four. It seems like Rabi don't have any intention of running any singles today. He's dealing in six and fours. So, can Carlos get the breakthrough? Not with that bowling. Can Gibraltar make a, a fight out of this? They have a very good total on the board. Carlos, anything edge catchy? So Hyde is already 16 without loss. So here is Carlos into ball to heat on. No man, the man was boss the man you missing God, you know. Let me shot me. Let me shot me. So it's still 16 without loss. Robbie looking to launch another one. Oh, and that's slap. Play the square leg for six. And Gibraltar continue to feed Rabbi into one of his favorites. <laughs> And that's a brilliant hand job by Ethan. There is 12 into ball to Ethan. And that's a brilliant shot. Off the back foot, over long off. That's a very difficult shot to play. So Ethan now race on to 10. And high race to 32 without loss. They need another 121 runs to win. And that's another four. 
It's pure feeling. There is 12 into ball to Ethan. Yes! And that's a brilliant shot. Yes! Half the back foot over long half. That's a very difficult shot to play. So Ethan now race on to 10. And high race to 32 without loss. They need another 121 runs to win. And that's another four. It's pure feeling. So that's far to two without loss. And that's another six. Pull away for six. And I think Gibraltar is now on the uh, fifth bowler so far. so here we have 12 oh and that's a brilliant delivery very slow but he's hitting a length yo so we have Gregory. Two experienced bowlers now bowling. And that's a good delivery by 12. We have two of the top cricketers from the 90s deciding to come on the attack. So Ethan was bowled for 10. For 14. Ah, what a <laughs> cha, cha. <laughs> So it's 48 for one. <laughs> Come on, bravo, man. Ask Christian. <laughs> so we have Bimbo at the crease. We now have the two masters bowlers bowling for Gibraltar. Can they use their experience? And the skipper Robbie, I think he, I think that was a poor shot. The fact that he's scoring so quickly, <laughs> we must give the the Gibraltar team some respect as well. That was good feeling, field placement. Everybody know Robbie loves that shot. Now we have Suka Gelding at the crease. Come on, Wiley, what can I do? He started to play for bad light for about 3 o'clock. So now we have two very, very experienced bowlers operating for Gibraltar. They may not be quick, but these were two top bowlers back in the 90s. They are showing the younger guys how to do it. So the drop catch competition is on. High drop, four catches, and Gibraltar now. And 12 into ball to Super Gelling. So here we have Gregory into ball to Bimbo. Catch it now! Catch it now! good! And that's another job catch by Christopher Columbus. Here tonight, two catches. And that's another good delivery. 
To be honest, I'm surprised by these two master bowlers. They have the Hyde team on a problem now. Because Hyde know another wicket. And they are into the middle order, which is not so strong. And that was a gift and Bimbo made sure he hand wrapped it right away into the wild side sand for six. And that was a quick, quick single with Hyde now. Hyde Blasters have two very experienced batsmen at the crease. These are two top players in the parish. So here we have Gregory. And that was a good shot. That was hit with pace. Rasta didn't even see it. And that's a brilliant shot for six by Bimbo. There's no way you can give a player like this two lives. Let's see if he's going to capitalize. And the score is now six. And that was smack out of the middle of the bat over wide lag on by Super Gelding. Here we have Gregory into there to Super Gelding. And that is a good delivery. Well played. I like what I'm seeing now. Very good competition between bat and ball. And another beautiful shot by Bimbo over long on for six. I so once again, 12 into ball to Siva. And another monstrous hit. It seems that Bimbo is trying to hit that ball. Back to it is. That was good feeling by Inzaman Hulhak. So right now I think the game needs a little bit of spark. Can Gibraltar fight back? Because this high team is scoring very quickly. Not two dangerous batsmen at the crease. Oh, and that's another, that's another job catch to be fair to Carlos. That was hit like a chase, a bullet by Super Gelding. And there's no way you can bowl that to Bimbo. That's, a, that's one of his pet shots. Vivichat style. 
Whatever, fine leg. I'll be a lot of shot here, boss. No see Bentley yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright, 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 And that was a very good catch by Alex. It seems like he was half balanced. I'm not sure if Bimbo take a look at the field. So now we have an attack. Christopher Columbus up to bow to Super Gelling. So Gregory into both the Isla. Isla. And this new batsman so far. That's very good technique. Seems like a good batsman. That forward defense. So, Krista, for Columbus. Hey. Oh, and this is poor feeling. A hand the hedge. So, this game is getting interesting because Gibraltar have removed the two senior batsmen for Hyde. Can Wiley bring it home? With Rabi and Jip and Bimbo back in the pavilion. Can Super Gelding take this one home? And this is experience building by Gregory. Not giving the batsman any time to settle. So Christopher Columbus. So Hyde is now 87 for 3. We have Super Gelding at the crease. He's not out on 8. And Isla, Old Hawk, yet to get off the mark. Once again, Gregory into ball to Wiley. Oh, and that's a good delivery. That ball kicking off a good length. So, Jibata using the experience of Gregory. Oh, and that's a brilliant delivery. That one. Pitch and move away. <laughs> so, Jesse using all his experience. <laughs> Appealing for button pad. But to be honest, from my view, that was straight into the leggings, nothing else. <laughs> so Hyde is under a bit of pressure right now. They're unable to get the ball off the square. I'm wondering if they're just trying to rebuild the innings after losing three wickets. But this is some very, very experienced bowling by Gregory. Getting those half cutters into Wiley. I think. Ah, uh, two I. So the score tickles over to 88 for three. Oh, yeah. And Hinzeman just got a Christmas gift in September, but failed to capitalize.
and that was slapped into the boundary for six by the new recruit Isla Hula. 24 for three with Christopher Columbus. Go to the new batsman Isla. And that was a pretty decent delivery by Rasta. Hearing in the stands that it's, it's time for us to remove the Rasta off the bird surfing ticket. Unless we're gonna say, was a Ras? So here is, was a Ras? Him to go to his lap. And that's a good delivery. Can they take the catch? And Rasta has taken the first wicket in his career. He has been bowling for 32 years and that's his first wicket. Into ball to Super Gelded. Oh, that's a good one, delivery. And it hit the stump, but the bow, the bows didn't fall off. So Super Gelding, Super Gelding always walk with his Super Gelding. <laughs> so once again, it's Wesa Ross, into ball to Wiley. And there's no way he can ball Wiley there, he's very strong in that era. And that was pulled away for another six. And the 100 is up for Hyde. Or so Hyde need 53 runs to win. And Gibraltar need five wickets. So it's Wazaras once again. And that's another good delivery. To be honest, I didn't know that Rasta had the potential to be. So Hyde now, they still have Ras Gadel in the pavilion. The hard hitting all around her. But you just feel another wicket. Another wicket for Gibraltar and this game will be very interesting, especially if they can get rid of Super Gelding. So Christopher Columbus to ball to Nico. <laughs> Come on boys, stand up! And that was a brilliant forward defensive shot with his ribs. So we have, I think we have a very good competition going on now. It's Rosa Ross. Once again, Rosa Ross reloading and he get the wicket. And that's a very good delivery. I think Rasta is showing the Gibraltar skipper Romeo that he has better options. So it's Gibraltar looking for another wicket. Again, look. We all know Super Gelding have a knock of calling bad light. So, Wazaras is trying to dismiss him from now. And that's a good delivery. To be honest, that was a long half valley. There to be struck. So was a Ras in the middle of a very good spell. Bowling wicket to wicket. Seems like Super Gelding. I am starting to wonder if Nikop is using a strainer to bat. Oh, and that was right in the slot. And Super Gelding has dis deposited that over long half a six. And the score moves to 106 for four. As I said before, if Gibraltar want to win this game, they need to get rid of Super Gelding. Can Wazaras do it? And that's another good delivery, good comeback by the Rasta.
I'm wondering if Skipper Rabbit sent out Nico. This, this is what you call test match batting. This is when you're batting on the fifth day. Five wicket and Hyde need 43 runs. Who will get it? And Rasta, Rasta continue to bowl a very good length outside our stump. And that's a sky. <laughs> and that was in the air for about a week. Guys. I still think it was good, a good try by Mr. Holmes. He seemed to react a bit late. But he could have pitched a tent and then catch that. Rasta seems like he's sending a strong message that he needs to be kissing the new balls. <laughs> so once again, was a Rasta ball to Nico. And Rasta, Rasta find the formula. That ball is one of the highlights too. So I think that was very disrespectful from the vice captain. It's it's the clash between the Ras and the Rosa Ras. So Rosa Ras him to go to Rasta, and that's a good delivery. Very good delivery. It's a even competition. I think Rasta Gadel wanted to tell Rasta that the fact that he has turned back from being a Rasta he's going to punish him. So Rasta in his red sneakers sponsored by Adidas. Um, I just want to say to the fans don't worry about bad light. We'll turn on the lights shortly. So it was a Ras into ball to Ras Gadel. Oh, and that's a brilliant delivery. That ball was nipping back. So it's Christopher Columbus trying to discover a wicket. I still believe that Gibraltar needs to get the wicket of Super Gildin because he can go with the stick at any any moment. <laughs> One thing I can tell you, with Gadel at the crease, two things is going to happen. He's either he's out or he's going to hit some sixes. So the score is now 112 for five. Gibraltar need 41. I need 41 runs, and Gibraltar need four wicket. Who is gonna come out on top? So we have Christopher Columbus to bowl to Charlie, <laughs> and that's a good full length delivery. Slick media. Who is the resident video video man for the Empire Clarkstone cricket? Whether it's soft ball or leather ball, he's there to cover it. He's always at the cave as well, viewing. And that was a good delivery by Christopher Columbus. I think the Gibraltar team. Gibraltar have found two really good bowlers. So once again, Rasta. And that's a brilliant Yakala delivery. A Yakala delivery by Rosa Ross. 
And he has won the battle of the Rasta battle. So once again, Rasta looking to wrap things up. And I think this is very, very smart bowling from Rasta. Bowling wicket to wicket. If you miss, Waza Ras will hit. So here is Waza Ras steaming in, into his pink shoes. And that's a good delivery. I think Gibraltar has found the formula now. I still believe that Hyde, Hyde is into it because with Super Gelding at the crease, anything can happen. So it's Rasta up to build the dirt. Hundred and thirteen for six. Gibraltar need. Gibraltar need three wickets and Hyde need 40 runs. Hyde is still, Hyde still have a big chance with Wiley at the crease, but can Rasta get another wicket? And now Rasta is bowling down the leg side, he has lost the line. So Christopher Columbus. <laughs> So it's Rasta. So that's another four. So Gibraltar right into this game now. I need 36 runs to win and Gibraltar need three wickets. And that's a good shot. Over wide long half for six. As I said before, once Wild is at the crease, but can Gibraltar get the three wickets? So Rasta, so Gregory has returned. And that was deposit. Deposited over the wide square leg boundary for another six. So here is Alex into ball to Wiley. And you, that's food for the poor. That's what you call. Super coming back into the game. Seems to be giving it away now. So here is Rasta to ball to. And that's another six. Jibbe Alta. Ask me bowling, bowling man. Ask me bowling. Eh. So it's Rasta. So high needing 12 runs to win. And Gibraltar need three wickets. <laughs> so, Rasta. No. So here is Rasta steaming in, looking for another wicket. Oh, and that's a good delivery. Rasta has found it. It's super good in Wiley at the crease. I'm not sure if Gibraltar can find it. So this is where the match is right now. They need 11. Can Rasta get rid of Super Gelding? Or will Super Gelding hit him for another 6? Yeah, man. And this is very experienced batting by Wiley. 
He knows how important it is to keep the strike going. So now Hyde needs another 10 runs to get their second victory. We're still waiting for invitation to see who will play next week. Into ball to Boskin. Into ball to Boskin. So Rasta once again to ball to Boskin. So Hyde need another nine runs. I am sure with Hyde needing nine runs, you won't see why they call him Bad Light. <laughs> so here is Rasta, up to go to Wiley. And that was very, very... So we have somewhere on our decrease. This man have a syndrome of running out persons. So they require. So we're going to turn the lights on in a few minutes. I don't know where that delivery came from, but that was a lot of it delivery. So the game is at a knife hedge with Hyde needing seven runs. And Gibraltar needing one wicket. What will happen? Game get tight, you know. <laughs> and that was good feeling by Jesse. He didn't contribute with the bat, but he's contributing in the field. So the game is now. The game is now nice. So it was a Ross into ball to somewhere. And that went straight through corners. That is poor feeling. At this time, of the meet of the field is on the boundary so I require three runs. So this is going to go down to the wire. Gibraltar need one wicket. I come need on, three come runs. on. What is going to happen? So here we have Christopher Columbus trying to discover the winning wicket. Yo, where next ball? Where clean the ball? Yo, where clean the ball? Yo, yo, bro, yo, David, David, give my name the ball, you know, David. Yo, yo, somewhere, don't back, don't back. Easy, Charlie. Easy. No, man, yo, the clean up, yo, don't back, man. Yo, David, give my name the clean up ball. Give my name the clean up ball. Give my name the clean up ball. Like I'm standing on the ball, man, out there. 
Of course, then see bright about any of the of the whole and funny down there. You know much brighter. Last have to go to Samoa. Can Samoa win this? Come on, show me. And that team gonna be out of the six. Oh my God. That's, that's how you do it, my friend. Where we go? That's how you do it, I my think friend. that was a very good fight by Gibraltar. Yeah. But lack of experience, I think, played against that. They should not be out in the field. With the hand, handing over of the winning Heineken. So we have the Gibraltar skipper Romeo handing over the Heineken to the man of the match, Super Gelding. So we want to have a quick word with the captain of the Gibraltar team, Romeo. This one was one of the most entertaining game hosted here at the Top Town Multipurpose Stadium. You and your team brought this right down to the wire. Where do you think you lost the game? Poor feeling. Drop catch. We dropped three vital catch. And that screwed me up. Yeah. Um, it's a good match, but in the end, we feel very, very disappointed with the feeling because, you see, if we take the three catch, trust me, we would not win. I tell you, I tell you that. We put on 150 at runs, and we go out there with a team. Irrespective, Papa don't get a play. But my mistake, we still could have win the match. If we just take the catch then. Understand? I just got it. And that's a good problem today. I agree, Romeo. You have this whole saying that catches win matches. But to be fair, high team drop a lot of catches as well. For me, I think where you lost the game, I said it before, while you guys were batting that this high team, to beat this high team, you need 180 runs plus. Um, when you were about, you were on 83, I thought you would have bat right through the innings to score 100, and that would give your team another 25 runs, which I think you needed based on the bowling that you had to beat this high team. I, I didn't believe that 152 runs was a good enough score, but despite that, you guys bowled really, really well. Yeah, um, 150 runs when I'm Sorry. Sorry. But at the first Sorry. Time, yeah, that the total up on the board. First time. Alright? Yes, my intention is if we go through to 100. But, you know, a cricket all over, you know how it goes. Nobody perfect. Right? I'm going to say thanks to the batting team. We put on a good score. We're back to the For the first time, struggle. Put on a score. For the first time, struggle. Put on a score. Congrats him for that, even though I'm upset in my get a ball. But truly, we still need to inspect your bowling. That's the reason why we're gonna put you on. Alright, and I'm not man, I know how to do this. Alright, Rasta, big up yourself. Papa, we still love you, it's just a mistake. Alright, oh, Papa. Alright. More you give me right for now. Alright. Yes, but overall, a fun but a time. This is a fourth defeat, a time for winning a match. I like the fight today, and it could have better. We just feel safe if they have pop up on the side, we don't win. That's the next. Well said, um, Romeo. And I think it was a spirited performance by your team. And better luck next time. And now we want to speak to the skipper of the high blasters. Sorry, the... the, the Top batsman of the High Blasters team, the man called Super Gelding slash Wiley. I think his 41 today was very crucial after losing Skipper Robbie and Bimbo there. It was important that someone stayed and see the truth. So, Wiley, at any point, did you think you guys would have lost the game? 
Well, um, during the, the innings, I mean, guys are coming and leaving. I just needed someone to stay at the other end. You know, just stay at the end, build a partnership. But everyone wanted to hit sixes and fours, you know? but eventually we came through, won the game. Great victory. Very, very exciting game. Yeah? I think we dropped too many catches we didn't feed properly when we were feeding. If we had take all our catches, I think they, we have restricted them to about 100. You know? And then batting would be easy. We could just take our time, go through. But um, eventually we won the game. Very, very exciting. Game. Lovely. You can see fans there cheering. They love the game. Excellent. Game. I agree with you, Super Gelling. This was one of the best games I've seen. Um, I think what we're doing now is building up to our T20 competition in the first week of November. Based on this high team that you have, with the fact that it's going to be overs, where one bowler can only bowl four overs, based on the lineup that you have in the bowling department, do you see this high team challenging the top teams? like top down all star schemas and a very red hot red hills team based on your combination super gelling does this team possess enough all own players to be competitive in the t20 competition in november most definitely i think we have a very very strong batting unit i don't think we need to work on our feeling catching and I don't see any team in the competition to beat us. Once we work on our feeling, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, uh, based on the reaction from some of the opposing team in the in the crowd, that was a very controversial statement. I see the vice keeper of the unbeaten top tone all star laughing. Also, a farmer hide player who we heard was sold for two pound of yam. One pound of the yam was spoiled. Right. However, it's part of his transfer fee. He's smiling in the background. Obviously, he doesn't agree. But um, right now, as we're playing the invitation on Sundays, I was told to make an offer to the I team that Riddles Spartans want to take you guys on next Sunday if approved by the Top Town Sports Club. If this is approved, Wiley. Are you guys ready to take on this ready team? We are always ready for competition. Always ready for competition. I think the more cricket we play, the better we get. So, most definitely. Let them come. How do they come? How do they go? <laughs> Alright, well said and well played, um, Super Gelding. So, that is it from the Top Town Sports Club, multi purpose Stadium, where we have Hyde coming out as winners. Beating Gibraltar in a very, very tight game. The game went down to the last wicket. But Hyde was able to win the game. So, I just want to say thanks to the fans who came out. Big up to our resident video cameraman, Everslick Media. Always supporting community development and all the players who took part. Thank you.